and welcome to Movie Phone. This is a pretty good party, eh, Ralph? <laughs> it was pretty fun. Well, we're going on tour. So you're a band with little to no money. You book a tour to go halfway across the country. And, uh, you know, you don't have any room for your gear. So what do you do? We saved up $300 and uh, bought lumber to build a box that we put on a borrowed trailer. Everything was going real well until we uh, hooked it on to our van. Why would it go smoothly, Pano? The van was like this. The trailer was like this. Then when we did hook it up, they were like kind of like this. It was fucked! Super fucked! Totally fucked. So there we were, first day of tour. Uh, problems with the van immediately. Didn't even leave the driveway. We're replacing this whole spring. Because we don't... Our, our trailer is too heavy. Our, all our gear is too much. It's too much metal. Heavy metal. For, you know, we, we need it to go. Once we got that going, we uh, hoping to make it to Sudbury before the show started. The, the highway. The box is rolling. The box is rolling. The van has springs. We're on it. We're on it right now. We made it. Barely. And all I can remember is hearing the hitch scrape every time we hit a bump in the van, every time we went up or down a hill. <sighs> and what time are we supposed to be on stage tonight? Matt? Care to answer this uh, one? 20 minutes ago? <laughs> 20 minutes ago. At 10.30. At 10.30. So, uh, that's a thing. If Blame you have our van problems, I feel bad for you, son. <laughs> I got 99 problems and my van is one. <laughs> Plus 98. Plus 98. There's 98 things wrong with the van, is what he said. So we made it to Sudbury. We played our show with the Spirit and Halls Die, but uh, I had neglected to film anything. We were new at this. Don't worry, it gets better. The boys had some success in Sudbury. Quite a bit, actually. So much so, in fact, that when you look at these following moving pictures of the after party, you'll see exactly what I mean. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, that smells like pure gasoline. <laughs> is it, is it good? Burns my lips. I'm too drunk to participate in this kind of shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> it's morning now. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh... I got shit livered. <laughs> <laughs> Stack one of a few in Sudbury. And we're leaving. Where are we going now, friendos? Sault Ste. Marie. Hey, too bad I didn't fucking record anything last night, huh? Yeah, you missed out, man. Yeah, that sucks. Everyone at home, you missed out. So you're probably wondering why we're screaming across all these bridges. 
It's actually an homage to our friends in Hollows Die. Um, and so now it's becoming this sort of weird thing where bands on tour scream across every single bridge. And if you're a band on tour, you should do it too. <laughs> Hey, Raz. Hey. What are you going to do? Eat the bear. Eat the bear. <laughs> <laughs> that means he's pooping. Fucking film me shitting? Don't know why you needed to film that. No. That's good. Look. Hey, Ralph? Hey, Ralph. Yep. What are you doing? Oh, I'm watering the tree. I water them. <laughs> Oh, okay. Not bad. No! Stop it! Fuck! Excuses for friends I have. I'd like to go back on tour now. Ah! Yeah. Boyd from Algoma. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, man. Doing good. Look at this beauty land. Look at that. Yeah. She's it's nice. A miracle. She's a miracle. Yeah. Magnets. Magnets. How do they work? <laughs> Johnny. You're Johnny? Johnny. And who, who, are, who are you? Hi. Oh hi. Oh hi. I'm Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mitch. And this is the Bear Humpers. The bit part of the Bear. The Beer Chuggers. The Beer Chuggers? Beer the Beer Chuggers. Bear, where are we going, fellas? LCBO. We're going to the LCBO. We're going to get liquor so that we can get drunk. We're gonna get, we're gonna going get to drunk on get liquor. Lipo. Well that's nice. That is lovely. I don't know. I don't drink you guys. Fuck off. You, you drank drink. me last night. What are you talking about? <laughs> you drank more than anybody I know. No. Karate kick that fucking bunch of big. Karate kick. Deadly karate moves at that house show. Hey, so did you have a good time that we uh, stayed at your house and we played at your place and we uh, did the stuff and the things? I can't remember, so it must have been good. Good to go. So, uh, what are we doing right now? Dustin, you care to elaborate? Yeah, I don't know. I, I heard the husky get mentioned around. The uh, husky? Yeah. Are we going to go eat food at the husky? I'm looking forward to it. But wait. No, wait. We don't need to go to the husky. Because what do we have here? Whoa! Oh, boy. What's that? What is it? Pea soup. That's pea soup. That's pea soup? Yeah. Oh, we're good. Good can. I think they'll feed us all. We're good. I think about six people can eat off that can and not die in 12 hours, so <laughs> we'll be okay. Um, so, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's the, the air in here, but you, my eyes are kind of itchy. Are your eyes itchy? Yeah. I just, I just, they're so itchy, I kind of just want to scratch, scratch it. Good try. <laughs> Holy fuck, if that ain't one of the most Canadian signs you ever seen in your life. So at the load-in of our second show in Sault Ste. Marie, Johnny had a mishap of the fecal variety. He stepped in a big pile. Of Dog shit. <laughs> oh, because I got out of no. my fucking vehicle and Alex was right there. He could have said, hey, John, you're going to step in that shit. <laughs> Instead, he fucking waits and he laughs at me once it happens. <laughs> fuck you, man.
So after our second show at the Bear Hunters in Sault Ste. Marie, we hit the road west towards Thunder Bay. Not before we fix this sketchy situation. <laughs> Folks have to stay in that building there. There's no gas. They said no gas. There's a gas station 15 minutes up the road. I don't know if you can see that. But we, uh, minutes. We don't yeah, have a lot of gas. Exactly 14 minutes of gas left. <laughs> that, is our, that is our gas gauge. <laughs> we'll see. And remember, folks. Always fill your tank before you drive across northern Ontario. First one, gas. Sweet. Yo, oh, you want to get gas for you? Yeah. Man, love yourself gas. Man. Oh, you're so fucking loud. Here we are in Thunder Bay, city which we do not play, for we did not get a show, so now I bang my head. And go. Woo! <laughs> Home for the night. Hey, that'll hold for a bit. Hey, that's some onions or something. Yeah, that'll make it, eh? Some onions. Garlic. <laughs> <laughs> there was frost everywhere. It's so weird. I don't know. Will Yo. was a pretty hilarious character. Yeah, he is. He's good. Sweet bags, guys. I didn't just like it. Like White checking out our bags for us. Well, you're putting them right out there by the fire. Sticking your bags right out for everyone to see. Sticking your bags out. Bushes of Canada. The wild bushes of Canada. So before we even made it out of Ontario, Van was fucked again. Super fucked. Totally fucked. We had to replace a bearing on the passenger side in a Walmart parking lot. And we were uh, unsuccessful. We did not have the tools equipped, so we decided just to do it in Winnipeg. Maybe the size of this Rice Krispie Square. In comparison to Rad's face. That's Rad? a rice. That's a rice. Brixby yeah. Square. It's a rice. Brixby, Brixby square. square. I already ate some of it. <laughs> Two buck. Now it's slightly smaller than my face. It's huge. Before it was slightly bigger. It's crazy. Squeegee. Squeegee. Oh, I'm sorry. I have no money. Squeegee. I'm sorry. I have no money. I'm gonna run over your feet. What? <laughs> and then it was flat. And then it was flat, and it will be flat for another day or five. Stupid sign! Look at it. show went really well. We got to visit our old buddy Kurt. And he saved the van. Kurt had all the proper tools we needed so we replaced the bearing in his garage. It was a, a lot more fucked than we thought it was. I mean you should have seen this bearing. It was just like like a big pile of powdered metal. It was fucked. Super fucked. Totally fucked. So after we got the van all fixed up it was on our way to Brandon, Manitoba. Propane. Brandon, Manitoba. Uh, so this 
fucking thing's pretty comfy once you load all the gear out. We got, you know, sleeping bags and a, we got a hat and, you know, we got some mats right here and, some you know, long we got underwear. long underwear. You know, we got some minute rice with rice shaking out of it. And, you know, we got a can of pea soup, you know, brake fluid, you know, some screws, screws whatever the hell. You know, some of those things, put shit together. We're gonna be fine. We got some screws here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Brandon oh, Manitoba, yeah. we're at the... A little North stabby. Island. Got a nice stabby trailer. Nice stabby trailer. It's gonna be alright. A little booby trap there. <laughs> you know, just for uh, just for the band. Bobby Orr, hold it strong. It's Bobby good. Orr is the fucking secret to this operation. Tell That's a good job, Bobby. <laughs> so there I was, standing naked in that Walmart bathroom picking ticks off of my inner thighs and testicles. Because that night, we slept outside the venue, on the ground, wrapped in tarps and sleeping bags. So here I was, standing naked in this Walmart bathroom, picking ticks off of my inner thighs and testicles. Because last night, we slept outside the venue, on the ground, wrapped in tarps, There was ticks everywhere. I slept on top of the trailer, tick free. It was about 20 after 3. All 20 after 3. So I thought we had a day off, so we were just going to try and relax and get rid of our sickness. But it turned out our show in Regina was that night, so we had to drive three and a half hours to be there to play the show. We were playing. I thought we had a day off, so we were just going to relax and try and get rid of our sickness, but it turns out the show is tonight in Regina, so we got to drive three and a half hours and be there <laughs> to play our show. Well, it was good we found it out then, not at 7 or 8 p.m. when the show started. It's good we found that out now and not at yeah. 7 or 8 p.m. when the show starts. <laughs> Manitoba? Saskatchewan. <laughs> We're in uh, Saskatchewan, D.C., one of the great suburbs of Toronto. Uh, you know, there's a big road. We're going on it. It's pretty straight. Yeah. Fucking rain on. The sandwich is his cock. We made it to Regina. We did it. Sick as fuck. Sick as fuck. Matt has a cold. We slept with ticks last night and they were on my testicles. And we forgot that we had a show today. We thought we had a day off, so we had to rush. But now we're early. And uh, there's some lettuce. Sick. You know. Early. Lettuce is always good. Tick free testicle. Right? I love lettuce. There's nothing wrong with some lettuce. Good thing we're not playing celery generals. Not I yet. What is that, an old condom? No, that's lettuce. Yankee. If you want to eat it, I'm not that hungry anymore. I already ate a sandwich, so... Did it have lettuce on it? I did. Did you put that lettuce there? No, it wasn't. I ate some of that sandwich, too. It was good. No, sir, I don't like it. Me either. It was real fun. Get to hang out with our buddy Near Beer. Put us up for the night. Thanks, Near Beer. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
arrived in Saskatoon. We hung out with our buddies. Hung out, watched Grimace Jam, did a bunch of other cool stuff. And, and we, we took, took a, a bath. bath! Oh, where'd he go? I didn't. <laughs> if you find a mitten, please pick it up. <laughs> you could save her life. She eats mittens. <laughs> Zena. She needs your help. She eats mittens. <laughs> Uh, I think that's hilarious. He eats mittens. Oh. Care to elaborate what's in these four fucking bags here? We're gonna be sick. Yo. Yo. That's sick. Oh, they set me up, you fucking pricks. That's sick. I'm killing it. Uh. Finished our gig up at Van Jelly's. They told us shit liver would never make it anywhere, but look at where we are now. This now Canada. Broadway Avenue in Saskatoon. Still counts as Broadway, right? Yeah. It counts as Broadway. That's right. I'd count oh, hold on, let me put on my headlight. It counts as Broadway, right, Matt? I would count it as Broadway. We're on Broadway. We are on Broadway. They said we'd never make it. <laughs> they said we'd never make it. We'd never make it. Broadway Ave. Saskatoon. Come at me, bro. <laughs> what? 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 Come on, on bro. Come at me. Come on, bro. Come at me, bro. What? What? I respect you, bro. I respect you too, bro. I respect you, bro. What? What? You respect me, bro? What? What? Drop the gun. Drop the gun. <laughs> drop, drop the gun. gun. No. <laughs> you drop the gun. You drop the gun. You drop the gun. <laughs> so we had a great time in Saskatoon, but it was time to leave. So we packed up our pepperettes and hit the road. So we thought we were late, but uh, that says 5:55. It's not 6.55. It's not 6.55. It's 5.55. So what's that mean, Matt? It's a whole extra hour. A whole extra hour. Yeah. So we're not going to be as late as we thought. As late. It seems we're always talking about the time. But as a band, it's kind of our only job to be on time. But we do our best. So it's kind of easy to be worried about. Hell on earth. <laughs> 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 like, oh my god. time at DV8 and then we went to see our friends for the night. Thank you very much. Hey, what's all this shit on the ground? You got a fold. Fucking Edmonton. <laughs> so apparently this is where I come into the tour. Not for long though. See you guys in a bit. Bullshit. No melty snow. <laughs> but no melty snow. Oh shit. There was snow everywhere. Favorite part of these prairies that you can see the town from like 40 kilometers away. Kilgary. Kilgary. Kilgarians. Fucking Calgary, right downtown today. I got my hair did in Calgary. <laughs> Apparently, I do some of the best hairdressing work in back alleys in Calgary. Hey guys. When you guys get down, we'll hold down this guy two and spray paint this hair. <laughs> Sunday collection, let's let go out to your son. So Calgary was a pretty fun time. Uh, 14 band show in one night. It was, it was pretty excellent. Uh, what do you guys think about Calgary? What like? Oh, it was pretty great. The show was awesome. There's a lot of out of town bands. Most of them were from Calgary. 
Um, also, oh, you guys got interviewed by that uh, TV show from Calgary. About to do an interview with there these here folks. Oh yeah, you're sorry now. Uh, where's those hair? In uh, this beautiful back lot of uh, Calgary. Oh yeah, Extreme Metal Television. Go check those guys out on YouTube while, while we're here. Or go see them if you're in Calgary. I wasn't in Calgary. What I remember about the show in Calgary is that there was bands upstairs, but also bands downstairs in the show in Calgary. Yeah, also the Calgary Flames were playing. Everyone wearing their uh, Calgary Flames jerseys here today. Hats too. Hats too. It's a playoff game tonight. Calgary. So uh, downtown's going to be fucking crazy. That night. They, they were playing a playoffs game. That night in Calgary. Yeah, in Calgary. Yeah, Calgary. And so that was, was the show that... Downtown Calgary was just packed completely. Oh, though. yeah. When Calgary Flames scored I've a goal... I've never seen Calgary so Oh, the whole downtown everywhere. Calgary was just uproar. So we're walking around Calgary and... Uh, just heard a loud roar of applause. What do you think that was, Ralph? <laughs> I believe Calgary just scored a goal. I think Calgary scored a goal as well. It's the playoffs, man. It's fucking, uh, it's legitimate shit. There's people walking around Calgary, flame jerseys all over the place. Yeah. Unreal. As far as the eye could see. Man. Yeah. Calgary. But, uh, Calgary, like, they also lost that game. Calgary Flames lost. So everyone was kind of fucking upset. There's like a million fucking Flames jerseys out in the, in the streets. Shrapnel. No, they went it. home. They went home. Everyone went home and fucking cried. They did. Everyone. So everyone was super pissed in Calgary because they weren't in it. <laughs> Holy fuck, Calgary's just fucking shit faced, eh? Calgary was everywhere. But uh, we got to play. So, uh, we got no time for hockey. Good time, though. Yeah, it was excellent. Calgary. We just assumed everybody did this. Just take up four spots <coughs> for Thai food breakfast. <coughs> Isn't that right, Ralph? Oh, look at that. It's going to be delicious. I'm so hungry. Look at this. Look at that, Ralph. Ralph, hold up your spoon. <laughs> That's a big spoon. Nice. So, after Calgary, it was time to drive through the mountains. We're dropping you off and swapping you out for a Frenchman. How does that make you feel? Sad. Sad? Hey, Sam. <laughs> you can still use it, man. You're on the road still. Yeah, it's true. We're swapping out. <laughs> swapping Shawnee out because she has to work. and we're. Uh, That's a we're bad trade. <laughs> <laughs> we get really loud, really fast. All right, so now I'm back in the story. And she's right. It fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> a 
I feel so guilty all the food. that I'm eating these right now. These are 7-Eleven nachos. We're in Revelstoke, British Columbia. Tomorrow, tomorrow we play Squamish, and uh, probably gonna have diarrhea. It'll be a fun uh, camping. So, all right. How do you feel about eating 7-Eleven nachos? I feel a little guilty, but eating 7-Eleven <laughs> nachos. But look at where you are. There's, there's, you know, there's mountains. A, mountains and it's better, it's better mountains over oh, there. Oh, better mountains over Real there. Real mountains. But uh, yeah, you feel guilty. Yeah, like I feel like we should be like bow and arrows, like hunting elk, and we're eating cheese, cheese that came in a bag in the machine. Oh out. God, it's horrible. I don't know how many weeks ago that chili was made and frozen. What country or city it's from? Oh, it's terrible. But I mean, we're poor. Wait, Matt just got back. How do you feel about eat, uh, buying and eating 7-Eleven nachos? I'm not too sure yet. <laughs> I like their prices. <laughs> oh, God. We're all going to shit our pants in Squamish tomorrow, aren't we? We did. <laughs> Never mind. We are not staying in Revelstoke. We have one. There's an entire cup of fucking chili here. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus Christ. I, no longer, uh, I don't even know if it is there's, chili. There's s'more fucking chili back here. Is that, wait, where's that can of chili? Is that a can of chili? Oh, yeah. That's a can of chili. <laughs> Ralph, you got nachos back there, chili on them? Uh, I, I eat most of it, but there's so much chili. Then, oh. <laughs> So much chili. chili. So we're not we're not staying here. We're gonna keep going down the highway because we're we don't want to drive. How long tomorrow? Long time. Long time. Seven hours. We didn't even get halfway. Cut the drive. Those fucking bridges. And so Matt. No more cups of chili on the fucking dashboard! <laughs> the center console is not the dashboard. I forgot about it. Fucking chili just fucking exploded everywhere. God damn it. Well, me and Raz here are pretty used to roughing it on the road. Go with a traveling band, thinking things are gonna be easy. Nah, you're still eating crappy food, still sleeping under the stars. They're hanging out and fucking, you know, having a time. The train's going in the background and this little guy comes and hangs out with us. He's on my beer. I don't think so. Mothra! Oh, it's our buddy. Mothra. Hey, Mothra. Good morning, pal. Good morning, buddy. Mothra tried to fly into the fucking fire last night, but Matt saved him with this stick. The same stick. Same stick. He's just chilling out. He's a little bit spooked. Seems he is eternally grateful. Fuck, I don't think it can get much more crusty Canadian than this right here. <laughs> Putting your house away. Putting your house away. In this fucking spot out. Right by the river. So trains going by all night. Mountains in the background. Where's the beaver trees? Oh shit! Don't. Yeah. British Columbia camping. What happened there, bud? That's the fucking pin for the bear mace. That's the pin for the bear mace. Yeah. Oh, that's the pin for the no, that's the pin for the bear mace. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> See, folks, this here's bear mace. So that pair. Oh fuck. So. Uh, don't put that in the bed. No, it just means it's armed. Dude, dude, it's good. We're safe. Oh. Slide off before use. Okay. So now you know how to slide it back on, so you can slide it off and see better. Yeah. No, that's scary. What you doing, Matt? Crushing the can. Crushing the can. We crushed the beers.
Okay. Gotta keep gotta it clean. Gotta bring it with us, man. You can't, you can't just do that. You gotta keep it clean. You can't just not crush the cans, man. You, you gotta, gotta keep the cans like respectful. Keeping it clean for Keeping the kids. kids. See, look, not a garbage around. Not a piece of garbage. If there's one thing that we want to say, Ralph, wouldn't it be that to keep your campsite clean? For the kids. For the kids. You don't want to go and disappoint the kids now, do you? Don't leave your garbage around. Empty cans of beer or cider. You know, six-pack ring. That sort of thing. Because other people will probably use this spot, too. All right, let's get out of here. Seriously, man, those fucking bridges. <laughs> so we get to Squamish finally, and we pull up and ask this fellow for directions. We say, we're playing a house show on 4th Ave. And he says, oh, at a bar? I'm like, bless him for trying to help us, but seriously, is he fucking with us? Maybe Buddy was just fucking with us. Yeah. No, that's... No, this is 4th. Sure. That's Taj Mahal? I don't care. I'm playing a fucking right turn. Yeah, right. do it, man. We're new. We're new. We don't know the rules. So this is uh, what happens when you don't have a GPS. You wander around aimlessly. In squamish. In squamish. Until you find... Main No, no, no. I know where we're going. Oh, you know where we're going? Yeah. I had no idea where we were going. Oh, cool. I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell and die. We're going this way. <laughs> Are you hungry? Yeah, thank you. This place in Squamish had the best samosas I ever had in my life. It's probably the only thing we ate while we were there, too. Hiding from the rain mound on some samo. And those, those beers that when you open them, they don't got no mouth hole. Oh, yeah. They're good. First time in my drinking career I've ever discovered one of these. What? What? They're good. This is a pretty good party, eh, Ralph? <laughs> it was pretty fun. Was it nice? 70 beers. 70 beers. <laughs> Give or take, you know? Give or take. I mean, we were generous. And a bottle of wine. Oh, yeah, I'll the bottle of wine. That was Oh, there's a bottle of wine right there. <laughs> 70 beers. We bought 70 beers and they're all gone. There's five of us, though. That's not too bad. <laughs> That's not too bad. <laughs> oh, boom! What's up? You ever bike in the rapids, bro? <laughs> what are you old, dude? He's, <laughs> no, he's, got, a he's got one eye, too. Look at his teeth. <laughs> Squamish is weird. <laughs> I've got huge muscles for an old guy. Yeah. <laughs> I still think that guy takes the cake on the muscle. <laughs> oh, yeah, this guy right here. Don't fuck around with this guy. He'll beat the ever living he's shit out of hard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what do you got to say for the tour videos, boys? Uh, samosas. 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 Exactly. Samosas and bags AGD. Of samosas. Bags. bags of samosas. Oh man, that takes, yeah. takes a little bit out of you. <laughs> we had such a great time in Squamish, we decided we'd leave him a love note on the refrigerator.
these ain't no Squamish samosas. All right, so we're about to leave uh, Squamish, but first we have to put our nice note on the fridge. I signed it too. <laughs> Thanks, guys. If you're watching this, fuck is a good time. I pooped in the ocean. What are you doing right now? I'm going to check the show poster in Nanaimo to see if we play tonight because I'm not sure if it's today <laughs> or if it's tomorrow. Well, it's not tomorrow. We have a day off well, it tomorrow. It wouldn't be tomorrow, no. It's either, yeah. But we, we're on the island. We yeah. fucking made it here. Quick like a buddy. I'm going. Quick. Bye. But, uh... I'll be back. Show poster. Right. I see your leg, man. This is fucking retarded. This is how dysfunctional we are, Ralph. Hey, how's your lemon? Uh, it's a good lemon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, even if we don't know where we play tonight on the island, at, at least, least we got a lemon. The lemon is good. <laughs> so, uh, what's going on at the Camby in uh, Nanaimo, Matt? Nothing. Open mic. <laughs> it's an open mic. It's so an open technically, mic. you guys could play. We could play if we wanted to, but we got to be somewhere different. So we play Victoria tonight. Yeah. Victoria. We made it. And it is 8:51. I sure hope we get to the venue and there's a show there. <laughs> no, there isn't. It's, it's tomorrow. It's kind of like the only reason why we came to Victoria. Right? Easy trailer. Ah! <laughs> Care to elaborate? We made it. We're at the Canby. We're at the Canby. Apparently Victoria doesn't like having a fucking nice time. <laughs> <laughs> the, the bands we were supposed to play with cancelled about a week ago and they sent us an email but we haven't been emailing I haven't been emailing at all. We've been on the road. Exactly, it's hard. We have I no thought this service. Was all set up, ready to go. It's not all set up and ready to go. <laughs> so we don't play here tonight. No. So unfortunately the entire show fell through in Victoria. It sucked. I'm just gonna break it to Ralph. But it's all right, though, eh? She said she might be able to set it up tomorrow. <laughs> she's gonna call back in 45 minutes. And 45 see minutes. If we can, we'll see. She's gonna call around a couple other pubs and see if they can get us in last minute. But you can't hold those kind of things against anybody. It happens. So what are we doing right now? We're sitting outside of Tim Hortons, eating bagels. Eating bagels. 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 And uh, what's the news we just got? We're not playing a show today. We're not playing a show today. Yeah. This is the second show in Victoria that we're not playing anymore. <laughs> Two, shows. Two shows. So we made it all the way to Victoria by the skin of our nuts. And um, we, there was no show last night. And we were um, promised a show today, and uh, that's not happening either. It's not happening. Look at this shit! Look at this shit! 
There's coffee fucking everywhere. Who put the coffee on the dashboard? It might have been me. It might have been you? It might have been me. It was you. I had a coffee at one point. Mm, maybe I, I don't fucking know where le left dashboard. it on the dashboard, maybe. Well, I'm fucking covered in fucking coffee. There's coffee all over the fucking place. There's coffee on the CDs. There's coffee on the cassettes. There's coffee on the Tim cards. This is horse shit. Maybe you wouldn't be so wet if you drank the coffee instead yeah. of wearing it. I don't drink coffee, Raz. Me neither. So that's why it's weird. It's weird for me. Dude, why are you so bothered by this? You're covered in fucking bird shit and everything else. But yeah, you're, when you're the coffee... flooded when the bird shit on you. The bird shitting on you is good luck. Yeah, I've heard. I gotta spin around. Coffee being spilled, however, that's is good luck too. Horse shit, not bird shit. No, it's bird shit. <laughs> There's no sky horses. Nonetheless, this is garbage. <laughs> no more chili on the fucking center console. <laughs> no more coffee on the dashboard. Okay? Every time you sit up front, there's just... Every time I sit up front, I get fucking chili and coffee and all sorts of weird just shit slathered all over my body. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Sam. <laughs> we don't even play in Victoria. We were supposed to play it yesterday. This place has just been in fucking... Twice. Coffee. We are supposed to play twice in Victoria. Not once have we played. So we're going south. All yep. time. And then we're going north. Oh, man. So show's cancelled, we go to Sydney, decide to treat it like a vacation day. What do we do again when we get there? We watch the guys play a sold out show. Are you threatening me? <sighs> Sir, uh, this is our sold out show. Sold out show in Sydney. We went to that food festival. <laughs> We're in the thick of it! <laughs> and somebody threatened to kill us. And somebody left all that food in the garbage. And these peas in this dip? Oh. Is that good peas and dip? Get in on it. I like it. That was a nice picnic at the skate park. Let me go see what's up with the half pipe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Matt. Yep. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I fell. Okay. Fuck off. Don't do this. Don't I'm do this. I'm fucking doing it. It's going on the internet. Don't do this to me. Hey, do you want a cookie? No. <laughs> He's got a cookie though. Have a cookie, I don't want <laughs> You don't want a cookie. Fuck off. I'm gonna cry. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm God. Crying. No, don't Dad cry. That's me. I'm gonna it. cry. I That's hate mean. you guys. I seriously oh. fucking hate you guys. You're a bum, Rocco. You're a bum, Rocco. <laughs> well, we didn't get shot in the head with assault rifles. No, <laughs> no, Rocky and Russ never came back no. to murder us. So after escaping murder and singing along to Celine Dion, we made our way to Nanaimo, where we got to play a killer show at the Cambio, which we were actually booked at that night. Top of all that, we got to sleep in a hostel. So that means we got to sleep up in a bed, got to take a shower. I didn't. And uh, we got to poop in a toilet with a locking door behind it. Just pretty nice, seeing as we were sleeping outside for the entirety of almost a month at that point. That sure is a lot of stuff. It's a nice pile of stuff. <laughs> Not a bad pile of stuff. <laughs> so I neglected to uh, film anything last night. Don't worry, it gets better. So let's smell this thing. It's been in this trailer for a month. I say we eat it. No, I, I say we just eat it. It's our good luck pea soup, man. You can't just eat that. Okay, we'll eat it in five days. All right. Here. Goodbye, Camby and house for the night. We will see you probably again sometime in years of future. You might even say it was a hostile environment. <laughs>
the rest of all this shit just off the yeah, I can't get it together. Yeah, I can't get it together, man. Get, I can't it, to get it together. Okay. So where are we off to? Vancouver. Right, Vancouver. We, we played gotta, tonight with the Dagle Abortion. We gotta cross the ferry. We have to cross the ferry. How much does it cost to cross the ferry? Lots. Wow. Much more than we got paid to play on the island. It's gonna be cheaper. A nice time, a nice time, a nice time, a nice time! time. <laughs> it was a nice time. I'm still having a nice time. Are you threatening me? Before we got back on the ferry, we figured since we're on the island, might as well try some squid. What is that? Is that squid? Squid, motherfucker. No, that's a little squid right there. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna eat the fuck out of this little That's Ziki, eh? Yeah. Squid? Rubbery. A little rubbery. <laughs> so the final show of the tour is with the Deglo abortions at Funky's in Vancouver. And the lack of footage speaks for itself. It was a hell of a night. After the show, I drove straight through to the next day. Like a bat out of hell, we were gone when the morning came. Why are you so tired? You drove since four in Vancouver? So we played the show with the Daglo Abortions and then we just left Vancouver and just drove? Yeah, all night. All night, into the day. All night into the day. It's a long drive. So that's why you're so tired. Yeah. Good thing we don't have smile vision on this camera. Yeah. Cause this van fucking stinks. Oh man. <laughs> Box full of turds. <laughs> there was stink everywhere. I think this is it, boys. The end of the tour videos. We're off tour, we're going home now. Any final thoughts? So the tour was probably the best time I ever had in my life. I can't wait to do it again, and if it was up to me, I'd never stop. I got to spend a month on the road with all of my best friends doing all of the things I love. As for money, I mean, we're, uh, we obviously lost money, but that's not the point. It's, if you wanted to do this for money, you'd be doing something else. And you're not going to tour as an underground band and come back and be able to pay your rent. There's just, it's just not how it works. It's about making people a part of your family. You just don't know that they're a part of it. I think it's definitely a labor of love, not one of profit, to be in a band. And that's worth it. Because first and foremost, we're fans of the music we like to play, and we like to experience that with other people. And to share these bonds with people in other cities who we didn't really get to know other than if we were going to play a show there or not. It's, uh, it's great that uh, all the hard work and effort we put into this band for years is uh, appreciated by others across the country that just are willing to listen to us and... Uh, enjoy it as much as we do and uh, it's uh, not all just fun and games I mean it's a lot of hard work and at the end of the day this is what we love to do so it, it's beside the point of all the hardships or anything we go through to try to pursue what we love um, was it overkill making an hour and a half documentary on one half of a country tour probably but it's our first one and we wanted to show everyone what it's kind of like to try to do something completely on your own for the pursuit of music. So even though this was our first kind of tour like this, I think, you know, it'll pave the way for more things to come. There's uh, no telling what the future holds. On the corner of Queen and Gore, cheap hookers bomb cigarettes. There's a man with his face covered up, he's running away with your rent. And the only currency is oxygen.
Pepsis and Percocets And the only thing on my mind Is leaving this old place again All the ditches we've slept in This one is the nicest we've found 